socks. Two of them. Jane, dear, how very practical. Got them a size large, so he can grow into them. <sighs> Look, Danny. Pan and hook, see? Us, <laughs> you, Peter Pan. Oh, another. I want to hear a Peter Pan story. <laughs> Shh, Nana too. <laughs> All right, then. How about the time Peter and the Lost Boys captured Hook's ship right from under <laughs> his nose? Ooh, that's a good one. It was late one misty evening, and Hook was sure once again that he'd found Peter's hideout. Hook and his bloodthirsty crew went ashore, leaving the Jolly Roger unguarded. That's when Peter Pan arrived. He and the boys slipped aboard, and there they found it. Hook's remarkable treasure. Wow! Peter told the Lost Boys they'd hide it, and Hook would have to hunt them down to get it back. It was all a great game for Peter. And then, from out of the mist, he was there. The evil Captain Hook. A fierce and ferocious sword fight was fast underway. <laughs> Give up, boy. Never. And at that moment, a shimmering magic hovered the ship. Take him out! Yes. And the Jolly Roger lifted into the sky as Peter and the boys escaped with the treasure. <laughs> You've not seen the end of me, Peter Pan. I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. So you see, Danny. Hook will never win as long as there's faith, trust, and pixie dust. <sighs> Poppycock. <laughs> <laughs>